Iliari has the highest win rate among support heroes in Overwatch 2. However, she is one of the least picked. Why? Maybe it's because of all the nerfs she got recently. In fact, I hadn't played her once before. As a top 500 player, I accepted this challenge. Over the past week, I've been on a mission to master Iliari. From struggling to survive to making game-changing plays, here I am to show you why Iliari deserves more recognition. Let's dive in and see how Iliari can change your Overwatch experience. My goal was clear, climb as high as my main account, which is currently GM4, while only playing Iliari. My first impression, Iliari is a blast to play. Her DPS-centric playstyle is very different from my other support. After playing my placement games, I got ranked Master 4. Not bad, but way lower than my main account. At this point, I knew the drone was gonna be interesting. As I remembered from what I heard on internet, I focused on using off angles to GPS, and maybe a bit too much to be honest. My competitive mindset kicked me, so I watched guides and took notes. SK and Spyro have fantastic Iliari guides, which I highly recommend if you want to improve on Iliari. Links are in the description down below. And no, this guide doesn't provide aim advice. That's why I'm here. To be honest, aim is not very important because you get better aim while playing. You don't even have to think about training it. However, to maximize improvement, you can go to Vextay Custom Game to improve your aim during your queue. And probably the most efficient advice would be to do some sport before playing. Because sport allows the blood to go to your brain, so you will be more focused when you play, and also it prepares your arm to be able to aim precisely. Concerning me, here are the key takeaways. Use a fungus only when you have your shift ready and your team can see you. Save your shift for when enemies engage you. Stay calm when aiming, you can even stop moving to stabilize. Keep an eye on your pylon and move it to prevent it from being destroyed. Wait for enemy cooldowns like Diva Matrix, Sigma Shift and Shield to expire before using your ultimate. I saw a lot of improvements and climbed the ladder quickly. I began to understand Hilary's strengths and weaknesses and how to adapt her playstyle to different team compositions. For example, with Pog comps like Sigma, Hilary shines. Play slightly off angle with one of your DPS to apply pressure and harass the enemies. With dive comps like Winston, Iliari is strong. Play aggressively off angle, assisting your team by focusing the target they dive. And with slow, short range comps like Reinhardt, Iliari needs to stay close to the tank and assist him, so she's not very effective here. Not gonna lie, Iliari is just bad in this comp. The games got more interesting as I faced pro players and well-known streamers. Despite the higher skill level, I held my own. My mindset was on point, I was confident and determined to become one of the best Hilary players. Wait, someone has to do something. Like, we almost have Mayon, 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 Mayon. I have Mayon, 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 Mayon. I have Simon. Yeah, Jerry Sutter, Jerry Sutter. <laughs> yes, I have Simon in five. Place no, place no for one, place no for one. Okay. Holy shit! GG. Two pieces of news. The good news, I reached GM4. Let's go! Matching my main account rank. Goal achieved it. Already proud of this improvement. However, the bad news, I was faced to some trash talk. You really just try to make me fucking hate you even more by explaining it. Okay, so you prefer that I'm like stupid and just OTP since Overwatch 1? No, I prefer you to be quiet. <laughs> okay. 
Some players dislike OTPs, but I can understand to be honest. Overwatch 2 is designed for hero adaptability based on the map team composition and enemy lineup. When tricking limits a player's ability to fully learn and adapt to the game, while it's viable in ranked, it's not a strategy for going pro. Concerning me, the weak goal was only to master Iliari quickly so I could effectively use her on my main account, where I also play Baptiste, Anna and Keriko. The final and most epic day. I surpassed my highest rank. <laughs> we stopped 28 with 60% win rate. That's insane, let's go dude. I was proud, especially since I hadn't played Iliari in ranks before this week. Some players had even thanked me for carrying their games. With my ex war support, I win beyond my goal and I will still try hard and continue to climb the ladder. Either I'm gifted at Iliari or she's actually an hidden gem. To create your own opinion, I highly recommend trying this challenge. It forces you to stay focused with an objective in mind while being conscient of what you need to improve on. <laughs> Definitely one of the best ways to quickly learn and hero. With these tips and processes, you will climb as well for sure. Comment below your thoughts on Iliari and her place in the meta. This was a fantastic experience and I'm excited to try the same with the other supports. If you enjoyed the video, let me know so I can continue this concept. This video was inspired by Special and Nifty. Links to their amazing channels are in the description. Thanks for watching, legends.